everybody welcome back to my channel thank you all for clicking on this video if you are someone who enjoys talking about film how about clicking that subscribe button so today we're going to be talking about netflix's newest movie project power <laughs> So Project Power is rated R. It's an hour 51 minutes along. It was released on Netflix August the 14th. It stars Jimmy Fox as Art, Joseph Gordon-Levitt as Frank, and Dominique Fishbeck as Robin. Project Power is about a former soldier, which is played by Jimmy Fox, who teams up with a cop, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, uh, to find the source of this dangerous new drug that gives you temporary powers. I had seen the trailer for this movie like on Instagram uh, like a week or so ago, I think it was. It seemed really, really interesting. I mean, of course, I love Jimmy Fox and Joseph Gordon-Levitt. I did get a little bit discouraged when I did see a few reviews when they were not too promising. Especially when I did see Jeremy Jones in his iconic black robe. And we all know what if you follow him, when you see that robe, usually the movie is not that great. But then like all my sisters did watch it and they told me it was good. So I said, you know what? Let's give it a shot. And now I'm going to be here talking to you guys about it. Um, so like I said, it is a pill that gives you temporary powers. Uh, you get them for five minutes. Um, you don't know what power you're going to be getting until you actually take the pill. Uh, so it's actually pretty like interesting concept. And I was just like, okay, that's kind of neat. I'm not going to lie. I would take the pill. Would, would you take the pill or, or not? Well, before, in case you don't know what's going on with this, there's like a 50 50 chance of you like getting a good power or not or maybe like less than that just because either you can get a pretty badass power you can get like a shitty ass power or you can blow up and die this is a spoiler free review but like i don't think that's like a big spoiler you know i think um they may have said that in the trailers i don't know art is actually on the search for his daughter who was kidnapped by the government uh, Frank is a cop who actually does take the pills because he feels like it's only fair to kind of even out the odds you know of him taking something in the bad guys also taking something like you unleash your inner animal kind of deal so that's kind of interesting I don't know what kind of superpower I would get what's my inner animal I don't know like sloth so that you would get like a shitty ass like power and odds are I would get a shitty ass power or I would blow up I seriously doubt I would get like an awesome power I just I have little faith in like the inner animal in me <laughs> but like if you had the opportunity would you guys uh, take this pill now knowing that you could possibly blow up but then you could also possibly have like this awesome power for like five minutes but still it's like five minutes you know you could do it once you know just to see how it so Robin um, is kind of like the local like drug dealer and you know she has her reasons on why she does these things. It's kind of funny when uh, Art and Robin kind of met each other because you know obviously Robin is a teenager you know and Art's grown as man and he literally like just like attacks her. I find it really interesting because you know usually don't really see stuff like that like when it's coming you know towards a kid but he does make a point that says you know you're a drug dealer like you kind of lost those privileges of calling yourself a kid when you're out here like you know selling drugs and like doing things that you a kid really shouldn't be doing certain circumstances do happen between art and uh robin that kind of bond them a little bit more more so i feel like robin got a little bit more attached towards him especially once she did hear his story of the reason why he's doing what he's doing he does have like a little side story that we do kind of come back to a lot that i feel like the movie really could have done without. I mean, I get it that this is kind of like the way that she could possibly get out of this life and really, you know, go for this dream that she has. But I feel like we kind of focused a little bit too much on it. And I really wasn't here for it. I feel like it could have done without it. Honestly, I feel like we could have done a lot less with Robin's character. Mind you, I know that she's kind of like the heart and soul of the movie. I mean, sometimes I just felt like she was in a way. Yes, yeah, she would help throughout the movie. I just feel like, you know, when you have like, a kid or a teenager or like a loved one you know in movies like this i mean this is not like a spoiler because i mean i feel like it's just like a, a typical like part of a storyline when it comes to movies like this that that person's either gonna get kidnapped or killed i did find it kind of odd that every time that they did take the pill you know they would do the little stop timer but they never actually really circled back to it to me it just seemed like there was really no point into doing that whole timer deal because I mean you're not really checking it. Oh, also if you are a fan of Machine Gun Kelly, he does come out in the beginning of the movie as well. He's like the fire guy kind of deal, like 
I would not want that power. That seems very painful. One last thing that I'm going to say that I did kind of have an issue with was when the dealers were doing a presentation and they gave the pill to this one girl and kind of put her into this tube. Kind of like the shit hit the fins. Seemed like it was a pretty awesome little fight sequence going on outside of the tube. It was a pretty neat shot, I'm not gonna lie, but Honestly, I would have preferred to have seen the actual fight scene and then the, the shot obviously was a little bit obscured due to the girl's power that was obstructing some of the, the, the views. But, you know, you did see a lot of like pretty interesting like little things here and there, kind of like glimpses. That was me personally, I feel like that was just such a waste of a fight scene. Alright you guys, so that's all I'm going to say about Project Power. If you've seen Project Power, what did you guys think about it? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Was it just not for you? But you guys, I almost did forget that I'm going to be giving away a digital code for the movie The Hunt. That is one of my favorite movies of, of this year. Um, It is open worldwide. You just have to subscribe to this channel, follow me on Instagram. Instagram, like my most recent photo and then comment the secret emoji that'll be somewhere in this video uh, I'll make sure that the photo actually says giveaway on there when well, you know where you need to comment at um, so good luck to everybody I'm actually gonna be posting this video up on Tuesday the 18th I will pick a winner on Saturday the 22nd and I'll do an Instagram live to pick up the winner and I'll do it like at four o'clock central time all right you guys of course before you guys kick out of this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post something new till next time I'll see you guys at concessions bye